Well, new pictures have emerged on Turkish media showing the 15 men suspected of murdering Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. The images show the men arriving at the Istanbul airport and the Saudi consulate before and after Khashoggi's killing in October. Saudi Arabia has rejected Turkey's request to extradite the suspects for trial. Earlier this week, the UN Secretary General renewed his call for what he called a credible investigation into the case. He said those responsible must be punished. Well, Mehmet Shelik is the managing editor at uh, Daily Sabah, an English newspaper uh, in Turkey, and joins us uh, via Skype now from Istanbul. Thanks for being with us. So, uh, wh why are we learning about these uh, images now, and wh what new do they tell us? Well, first of all, uh, uh, this is an ongoing investigation. There's uh, These new images are coming from uh, nearly 150 uh, CCT, uh, CCTV cameras uh, in the surrounding area and, and uh, as part of the investigation. So there is about 3,500 hours of uh, footage that uh, the investigators are actually looking into. So due to the fact that this is taking time and there is uh, new evidence uh, coming out, we, we, we get these leaks once in a while um, due to the fact that, uh, uh, you know, the investigators are going through the uh, what they are searching uh, very thoroughly. So we have these images came out this morning uh, through uh, another agency. They show um, uh, the, uh, the 15 people that are coming uh, into the consulate um, and how they arrived to Turkey in two different groups. Uh, so the footage is from the airport at two different times um, and also when they enter the, the consulate. So this is, again, ties into that whole uh, that uh, the claim that this is uh, was this was a premediated um, event rather than something that happened and and you know it was a matter of a strangling um, uh, at the at the consulate. So all these small pieces of evidence are tying into what Turkey has claimed uh, so far. Um, they are we are getting that now and we will be getting more information and more evidence emerging uh, since the investigation is going on. So. It takes time sometimes. Sometimes we get frequent uh, evidences, one right after the other. Um, but uh, time-wise, uh, I think this has a lot to do with the, the, the work that is uh, we are following. Um, but I think at the same time, I, we, if we look at it from uh, the outside of that, I think every piece of evidence should remind us that this investigation is going on and must be kept alive. All right. Um, because there's... But what about... What, sorry to interrupt. What about the political dimension to all of this? Because every time we get this release of, of new information about the case, new pictures and so on, it is seen as um, another attempt by uh, uh, the Turkish government to, to apply some sort of pressure uh, on, on, on the Saudis, uh, to, well, to, to is, embarrass the a... Saudis or so on. Is, is this another example of that? This is another uh, uh, step or another uh, uh, piece of evidence that coming out of the investigation that uh, Turkey is, is, is uh, you know, maintaining its position on uh, three different questions. Where is the body? Where is the, uh, uh, the, uh, the actual decision maker in this? And who is the local collaborator? Turkey will keep pressuring Saudi Arabia to get answers for these and, and looking at it from a humanitarian and human, human perspective. Because so far, Riyadh has not been cooperating with Turkey. So with every little piece of evidence that comes up, Turkey will reiterate its position and will seek answers to this, uh, you know, complex uh, investigation and complex issue. Um, and Turkey will also keep pressuring Riyadh because, uh, I mean, this is now an international issue. Turkey wants to and make sure that this remains alive at the international level. And because and Turkey is not alone in this, actually, um, you know, seeking the answers. I mean, many of the uh, foreign uh, ministers have also uh, kept their positions regarding uh, the, the incident. And also, UN is now seeking answers from Riyadh. But unfortunately, we see a very static position in Riyadh, maintaining, uh, you know, a, a non-cooperative uh, position. And, and right. you know, willing to push this under the carpet, basically. Good to speak with you. Mehmet Celik in Istanbul. Thanks for being with us.